What's up everybody? Donnie here. Welcome back to another video. So good to have you. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to tie pompano teasers. The reason why I like to tie my own pompano teasers is because I can customize it to however I want it. Um, I've used a lot of teasers in the past and I've used some good ones and uh, some bad ones. But it's something about tying your very own teaser and actually catching fish with it. That being said, we are going to be using the teasers we tie up today and um, taking it out there and actually try to catch fish with it. But let me show you guys the, uh, the stuff you'll need to tie these teasers. All right, so here are the simple things you need to be able to tie your very own teasers. I already have the uh, hook on the vise here, but you're going to need a vise. This is very, very basic. Uh, it's like a $20, $15, $20 vise. I'll leave everything down in the description box below. That way you guys don't have to go around looking for them. Um, you're going to need a vise. You're going to need scissors. I think these are the uh, the wopsies, I believe. Like I said, I'm going to leave everything down in the uh, description box below. You're going to need a bobbin. Can't remember what this uh, thing is called, but you'll see how I use this later. Uh, you're going to need nylon, a whip finisher. I believe this is by Wopsy as well. Flash and uh, hooks. These are my favorite hooks um, to use when it comes to tying teasers because they're super stout and they're super sharp and they're offset. I already have that hook on that vise. So here's what you want to do. So what you want to do is make the initial wrap right here. Make a few wraps just like that. Cut off that tag end, just leave it down there for now. And then we're just going to grab nylon I like my I like my teaser a little bit thicker the reason why I like it a little bit thicker is because you know big bait big fish let's trim that so everything lines up nice and neat like so now that you have your nylon what you want to do is place it right there make a wrap light wrap and then just kind of adjust that nylon Kind of pull it away from the uh, the hook, the eye of the hook a little bit, like that, and then put some pressure on it and just wrap it, just like that. Just keep wrapping it. That should be good there. Now, you want to add the flash. Actually, let's, let's trim this first, about the, the length of the hook. So I like to cut it off. Depending on how long that hook is, just want to cut it like right there where that hook starts to, to curve, to bend. Now, add the flash. Again, you don't need much with the flash either here. Um, it's going to use about about that much right there. Lay it on top of the hook, lightly wrap it, and then now put some pressure on it. And just make a few more wraps. That looks good to me. Cut off that uh, tag end right there. Now what you wanna do next is use that whip finisher just create a knot if you don't have a whip finisher just use a overhand knot basically that's what it is just you know wrap it like five to ten times and then cinch it down like so flip off the tag end that's it oh one last thing use a uh, super glue I like this uh, zapper gap super quick to use just like that. You are ready to go, man. Just gotta let it dry. It takes about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes for it to um, dry up. Good looking teaser right there. That'll catch fish. Pretty good looking teaser there. Tied up a few, pink and uh, orange. 
Let's take them out there and see if they'll catch fish. Just testing out the teasers I tied up. Still looking for that pump now. Oof, this feels, feels pretty good. What is this here? Ladyfish? Looks like a ladyfish. Oh yeah. Ah. Definitely ladyfish. That feels pretty, pretty good. Oh yeah. Hit it. Well, I'm it in. Macro. Strange macro. Look at that. Yeah, he crushed that teaser, man. Luckily, he didn't uh, he didn't clip me. Let's get him and hook him back in the water. See you, dude. No one is out here. It's looking really good. Let's see if we can make something happen. There's one way out there, man. I don't know what it is though yet. It's quite like a pumpano, maybe smaller pump. It's not pulling drag yet. Oof. Let's see. Let's see if he's a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a decent one there. First one all day. Yeah? Yep, there anybody else caught now. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely a keeper there. On the teaser I tied up this morning. Oh yeah. That's what I got the uh, pompano on. The pink teaser I made this morning with the chartreuse jig 3 8. Man, that hook's super sharp. Gets the job done. I mean, a dollar sixty-six a pack for for ten pieces. Can't beat it. Not bad. And that is how you tie a pompano teaser. There are a couple of ways on how to tie the teasers. I did a video a couple years back. You can check it out. Link's going to be on the top right hand corner. Watch how I tie the teasers in that video. Hope you guys find this video helpful. There's going to be a killer video dropping next week, so stay tuned for that. Hit the like button if this is something you're into. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week.